have a crazy story. You have to explore. You have to try out new things. You have to have those tough conversations with your partner if you want to introduce something or someone into the bedroom. Have you ever introduced someone into the bedroom? Yeah, I didn't like it. Because there were two people who didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have good sex once a month or average sex once a week? Good sex once a month. Good sex once. A yeah, month. I'd go once a month. I was just like, I love oh, any sex, please. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the most interesting things you've discovered. Um okay, I discovered pegging. It's so hot. Oh my god. Yeah. Now I'm distracted. Here's my controversial opinion. For play and aftercare are a part of sex. You know? Aftercare is what? Like for a napkin or not? my job, bro. <laughs> After my dad watches these episodes. <laughs> That's why I'm like <laughs> Sorry, uncle. What's up guys? Welcome back to HST. I'm your co-host Adi alongside Jay. What's up guys? Welcome back to not HST only, but HST FM, one of our favorite segments here on the Having Said That show. And this is the first time that we have a guest joining us for an HST FM. Of course, Jay and I know a lot about sex, but... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> with but, each other, with each other. <laughs> but we thought that we should get a professional in here. Welcome Sakshi to the studio. Thank you. It just sounds like I called you a sex professional now. <laughs> Okay, guys, don't DM me. <laughs> uh, how would you introduce yourself to these guys? My friends, uh, as a joke, call me Mahindra Vatsa. So, I would say maybe sexier Mahindra Vatsa. For you guys who may not, who may be too young, Mahindra Vatsa was like one of the goated sex poets who Man. used to write in. Goated. Uh, goated. Yeah, used to love library period, just pop open that newspaper go to the sex but <laughs> see you just see what weird shit people were on that day man as 10 year olds we were like let's <laughs> <laughs> remember on the last episode i told you guys that jay got his first erection to the close up <laughs> ad jay got his second erection in the library <laughs> reading <laughs> middle <laughs> reading <laughs> ask the sex but um okay let's just get started i think ariana's curated a bunch of the questions that we asked you on instagram so let's see what we have yes so first question just Questions about sex that people want to know about. Mm -hmm. So, starting off strong, what is a female orgasm? Does it exist? Obviously, <laughs> it exists. Jangi and Adi really like both of us were like, we were like <laughs> we're, we're, I just want confirmation. Like, <laughs> is it like a myth, like foreplay, or is it like an action? Sachi, <laughs> Jay has never seen it. I can, I can figure it out. So it cannot be true. It out. It's not okay. a myth for us, but it's a myth for men because then they'll probably never know what it looks like because we always have to rely on our vibrators. Damn! Oh shit! There's shade being thrown. No, well, <laughs> I guess the reason we also don't know is because with a male orgasm, there's mm. visual proof. You know, mm. you know what I mean. True. Yeah. true. So how would how would someone in a situation know that their partner is? That is very true because like fifty six percent of women fake an orgasm. But I I think so, maybe you have to be really in touch with the person as well. I think for females it's a little more mental also. You know what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> I I Did he just I've say I've heard no 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 like I'm not I'm I'm not saying they're making it up, no, but I'm no, saying no, that there's no, more no, yeah. there there's is, there more is. than just the physicality of yeah, 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 the that's situation. Why women like. I think a lot of women will agree with me when I say this, but not all of them orgasm with like penetration. Yeah. yeah. So that's why the mental thing is like there. You know. So it is yeah. there, guys. I was. It is there. Was, <laughs> well, having said that, you're so right. Oh, oh Diana! Oh, you oh fucked my up. God. In the in the boys' night, no? No, 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 no. no, no. no. Well, you're not no. there for you the boys' night, so you gotta take a shot right now. Well, while Rihanna's drinking the most disgusting vodka in the world, this episode is brought to you by Pursue and Only Pursue. Pursue hard seltzers. Pursue hard seltzers. Best seltzers in the game. What do you think of Pursue? I love it. I've got an empty bottle on my desk. Oh, yes. Use it for flowers. I think yes. girls do that. Also, that's yeah. also what they do. That's true. <laughs> okay, Ariana, you were gonna say something. <laughs> Let her recover from the alcohol. She's just like. Oh. Ariana, quick, quick question. I was gonna say that it's so interesting that you said that about um, there not being visual proof of a female's orgasm. Oh. Female. of the female orgasm because I was actually going to say that it's really interesting to me that it's not at all like how they show you in the movies not at all you know what I'm saying like it's a full like scam and you don't have like liters of water guzzling out, your, out of your vagina like that doesn't yeah. happen you don't <laughs> <laughs> doesn't happen guys um, that's my Sunday ruined <laughs> <laughs> so okay so then why don't you explain to the viewers what it is actually like so um 
a female orgasm essentially kind of feels like everything inside of you is bursting uh mind my, my technical language but you will actually see your vagina throb like you will feel it throb and when you when you know that's happening you know an orgasm is on the way oh. and usually even your partner can tell cuz depending on what they're doing like whether it's penetration or whether it's just like little stimulation you can always tell cuz it's moving it's vibrating it changes shape so you can always tell you just have to be a little more attentive and probably not act like a dj around there <laughs> so you'll like figure it out okay awesome is that's it, is it also true that there are different types of female orgasms as well yes there actually it's a very debatable topic cuz a lot of people say that um the orgasm is just like a universal thing doesn't matter like what part you stimulate but then there's also a section of um the experts who say that you do have nipple orgasms you do have butt orgasms you have um clitoral orgasms and yeah i mean i think also different people are into different things and so there's certain Sense. people who like prefer to you know my <laughs> <laughs> okay i i have hold on no no wait before my dad watches these episodes <laughs> that's why i'm like <laughs> sorry uncle hey hey dad <laughs> yeah it's probably too late to say this but if you're a parent of any of us stop watching yeah please <laughs> okay now that he's gone <laughs> um and i can say yeah different people like different things and i think you know you have to just part of like exploring your like your relationship with sex is finding out what you like yep. and part of that is like being with a partner who's happy to help you realize that yeah. man and communication is really important so what do you like aman <laughs> except hand jobs <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy you know what's crazy you know what's crazy my Thank girlfriend you. doesn't know the context of that joke <laughs> And so she's going to be like you told me you don't like those so <laughs> Honestly oh, dad please cute. don't watch this episode. Um no uh, what I was going to say what do I like buy me dinner first but also <laughs> it's about it's about communication you know communicate yeah, talk is. say yes no yeah. and like yeah that's all so I want to say. So you mentioned that a lot of women fake orgasms right is there a stigma of like maybe you have to fake it so much that you never communicate that to your partner so they never change what they're doing? so you never have an orgasm and then you just kind of exist like that and you yeah. think that you can't have one for sure there's definitely like a stigma out there and also it comes from a very like a uh, people pleasing thing that like is ingrained in us as women so if he's having a good time you don't want to like we've grown up thinking that okay just let them get done and you know I'll just fake it hmm. but that's not the case cuz like if you want something you just open your mouth and tell them look move a little to the left move a little to the right and you'll be surprised at how receptive men can oh, be i can't sure. be yeah believe i'm saying this out loud but uh, <laughs> yeah like it's very surprising at how receptive they can be and when they finally find their way around it then it can be fabulous hmm. is there a particularly funny story that that's ever happened to you where you've told some guy and he hasn't taken it well <laughs> so many oh my god and i think that comes from like male ego like a little bit like sometimes they don't like being told what they're doing is not nice or they should be changing because they've been taught oh sex goes like this you don't go down on a woman or you do this or oh, penetration is only everything so they're not used to changing their course of like you know techniques usually mm. so when you tell them look go down on me a little for a little while longer or do this or turn me around like that they believe what why are you telling me what to do which they feel maybe they they aren't yeah. assuming the dominant role exactly it comes from that place i feel but sometimes i got to give credit where it's due sometimes i've actually had like a very nice and healthy conversation with a partner where he's been like tell me exactly what you want and how like how do i give you an orgasm you need to direct me like with minute instructions nice i have a question how do you know what to say you like, don't how do you know what you want you, you know don't you honestly don't cuz like there have been times where i thought oh um maybe doggy is doing it the best for me but then few weeks later i realized like it's not all that mm-hmm. you know i think it's something that you just discover along the way like when it comes to sex there's no like one set rule for anything you have to explore you have to try out new things you have to have those tough conversations with your partner if you want to introduce something or someone into the bedroom you have yeah. to have those conversations <laughs> Have you have you ever introduced someone into the bedroom? Yeah, I didn't like it. Fuck. No, because <laughs> there were two people who didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> 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 Come on, go on. Sorry, guys, if you're watching this, but you didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess they'll know now. 
Okay, Rana, what's the second question? We yes. Have? Why does round one uh, only get over after he climaxes and not her? Yeah, that is very true because that's happened. It literally happened with me five days ago. <gasps> Damn. So like it's a thing. It's so true. And then when you bring it up, they go like, okay, fine, maybe in the next round. But then in the next round, you're just like focused on them getting it up and whatever, it's staying hard or whatever, all of that jazz. But I think it also comes from a place where we don't communicate. Um, I feel like if something like that does happen where you're just, he's done and you don't have an orgasm, I think you're supposed to open your mouth and be like, okay, look, we need to do something. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like, I can't be going home and wanking because I came here for a reason. Yeah. So I think that communication needs to be there. Like your partner is not going to know you've not finished or you've not had a good time if you don't open your mouth and tell that to them. Sure. So um, do women also get super tired after they orgasm? Um, I don't get tired. Okay. But I think women do like I've um, I've seen this with friends. Uh, they do. I don't think you, they get tired. Tired per se. There's just like a moment of where you're like, okay, let me have my alone time for like five minutes, and then maybe we can go back at it again. Exactly why I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> like leave so, me alone, please. <laughs> after like the round one, the I think the man also feels that way. It was like, yo, leave me yeah. alone for five minutes. We'll get back to it. So how do you tackle think, that, you know? I think it takes longer than five minutes for yeah. guys. For guys, it takes longer than five minutes, yeah. Well, if you're sure. healthy and you, you know, you take care of your yeah, that's blood true. and everything, that's true. you should be good to go. Okay, yeah. that's mm. amazing news. Yeah, where are these five minute guys? <laughs> but no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, no. is, it, is it also a, a reason of like, because men come quicker and easier, yeah. that they want to... A little bit of time yes, before going into I round I think two. so too because I feel that also comes from a place where a lot of men do have performance anxiety too because a lot of the times they're worried about okay I may come too soon hmm. yeah. and that kind of like fucks the whole flow up even though you're having fun with someone hmm. so that impacts the entire thing and then you can't have that conversation with the other person where look you've orgasm but I need to orgasm too. Hmm. Sure, I think that performance anxiety is like once round one is out of the way, then you can yeah. kind of, you know, relax. It's like ripping the band-aid off. Like, okay, we're done with this. Then maybe if your partner is open to communication and yeah. stuff like that, then you speak to them about it. Hmm. Uh, fun question. <coughs> Would you rather have good sex once a month or average sex once a week? Good sex once a month. Good sex once a month. Yeah, I'd go once a month. I would also go once a month. <laughs> yeah, I'm He's not saying anything. I'm just like, like, I love any sex, please. honestly. <laughs> hey, man. What's your answer? What's your answer? Um, yeah, I guess good sex once a month. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, super. Yeah. You don't have to say it because we all said. I mean, <laughs> Amma just wants to be held. It's fine. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we going big spoon uh, or little spoon, you guys? What do you What do you think? A little bit both. of both, right? A little bit Big. of both. I, I mean, yeah. So I, like <laughs> I could only Fun pick like a scheduled <laughs> switch. <laughs> if you could only pick one, you're, I'm picking Little Spoon all the time, bro. How cute. Oh, okay. No, but... It's but way more comforting. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> It's way more comforting. And yeah, but have, one all big, the time. You know, as a big guy, I never get little spooned, ever. Hey, man. <laughs> Commun all right, all right. Communication is key, bro. I got the, it, I got it. <laughs> little spoon he feels... You. <laughs> he got you. <laughs> little spoon feels good, obviously, as well. But uh, like being a big dude, like you're usually the big spoon. Sometimes little spoon feels like a little bit like you have a backpack on, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, you're just when a, it's a small girl. Like yeah. you're a big Donny, bro. Like what am I meant to do, bro? Like I'm fucking much taller than my girlfriend, bro. It's like, you know, so uh, such is life. But hey, do what you like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pursue yeah. what you love. Pursue what you love. <laughs> Yo, he said pursue, drink. No. What? No. <laughs> okay, what's the next question? Do you know? Next question is, can a couple get bored of sex after doing it regularly, even after role playing and spicing it up? I feel like those aren't the only two things you can do to spice things up, but you can definitely get bored. Like, even if you're not a couple, even if you're just casually hooking up with someone, sometimes you like settle into the rhythms and routines so much that you know, okay, fine, we're gonna make out for like seven minutes. He's gonna get hard. I'm gonna jump on top of him. I'm gonna grind him a little bit. You know, you know the routine. So it's definitely possible to get bored. And like I said, role play and you know all of these things, they're not only like, it, it isn't only these two things, there are so many other things that you can do. Like, because I write about it every day, I discover something new. I'm not even kidding. Tell us the most interesting things you've discovered. Um, okay, I discovered pegging a few... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, all of my male friends just like run out of the room when I say pegging. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, you discovered. Uh, I it. discovered pegging a few uh, months ago, and I did want to try it out. But I was like, okay, because like you know, men are so deep rooted into that whole thing that oh, nothing near my ass, bro. Like, don't even touch it. Like, don't grab it. <laughs> But surprisingly, uh, there was this guy who really wanted to do it, and he enjoyed it. Like, that's all he made me do. Oh wow! So I was a little <laughs> surprised. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, But you were like, it's good market research. I'm. Yeah. This is going in the notes right now. <laughs> what else? Sure. What else? Uh, I also discovered. I. I mean, it's been around for a while, but I discovered it a while ago. Uh, it's called mutual masturbation. It's when, um, just to change things up a bit, instead of your partner like going down on you or your partner like you know fingering you or something, um, you do it to yourself and he's doing it to himself and you're getting off on watching each mm. other masturbate. Okay. And. It's so hot! Oh my god! Yeah. Now I'm distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. Last final thing. One third thing that people should try if they've tried role playing and spicing things up, but it's not working. I feel like everybody should kind of like dip their like fingers in every other body part into BDSM because it's ooh, it's yeah. a lot of fun. I think that's the most intimidating one. Like when you look at it on the surface yeah, to get it, into it, it seems it intimidating. It can be. It, it can be because um, it can get too intense and too extreme too. But I feel like if you have a partner who wants to explore just as much as you do, and um, yeah, you should be taking it slow. Like you don't have to like go all leather, handcuffs, nipple clamps on the first day. You know, mm. like you can take like baby steps. But I feel like if couples do like add some elements of BDSM into like their sex life, it can be fabulous. So I actually had a different question, but I think this is a good one. Um, what are like your tips for couples trying BDSM for the first time? You know, what are the mm. do's and don'ts? I feel like um, the the, the first one should be. Uh, no, that'll probably be the second one. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. The first one should be uh, you just having a conversation about what you're okay with and what you're not okay with. For example, like I may like being spanked to a certain level, but not to like a higher level. Sure. You need to be okay with what your partner also wants from you. Second, obviously, the safe word, like because if things get too extreme um, and you don't know how to say no in the moment, that safe word does come in handy. And I feel like it shouldn't be something that you put too much thought into. Like you don't have to um, go all deep into it. You can take it a little. Slow, hmm. you know. Um, and my second question is: so, you're a sex writer. You deal with these topics. I love the show Sex Education. This is one of my favorite shows. Wasn't a fan of the last season, but Same. the first three seasons I absolutely loved. And I think that show did a really good job of normalizing conversations around 100%. sex. So, as a sex expert, what are your views on a show like that? No, it was definitely a great, great show. The first three seasons were fabulous because I mean, all of us we didn't have sex ed, right? Like sex yeah. ed, at least for me, was like reproduction chapter. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're right. What we right. learned, you know, like when okay, we had it in school, they separated the they girls separated the boys, the boys and yes. the girls. So most of our education comes from porn. Mm. And okay, as a horny teenager, fine, porn is like interesting and stuff, but it shouldn't be like your gateway to like learning things. So I feel like. You do need. I don't know how Indian sex education will be. I feel like they'll fuck it up so bad. But you do need um, conversations or things in pop culture that just normalize it. Because, for example, when Sex Ed came out, I have a younger sister who watched the show with me. Uh, she's ten years younger than I am, and so that was like her first um, chance interaction with like sex and stuff. So I'm mm -hmm. glad she got to see it like in a healthier way and she didn't like randomly type pinkworld.com into the <laughs> computer and watch like porn. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think even shows like Big Mouth kind of did the same thing but with with like a younger audience also. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, for sure. And I think you know the reason I bring up sex education is um something I've sort of realized a lot of Sex is not just like it's not just a physical thing. Like there's a lot of a, there's mental blocks. It's a mental aspect. Yeah. It's communication. It's also like I felt when I've been able to connect with someone and sort of open myself up to them in a more emotional way, then Only physically then, yeah. you know you link better. And so I think a lot of teenagers, especially a lot of our younger audience, are getting to the stage where like oh sex is like I'm gonna have sex soon. It's an expectation. What do I do? How do I do it? And 
that insecurity, the insecurity of coming quickly, whatever it is, I think the more open and communicative you are, the more you're okay with being able to like talk to the person and be yourself, the better it is. I, that's just something I want to put out yes. into the yeah, world. Sure, sure. I think we need Straight more up. like, like I've never seen an Indian content creator who just like is focused on sex education. I don't know if, uh, if India is it, ready for that or if like, a show like se- Sex Education could exist I here. There are, there are lots of uh, yeah. content creators. Actually, Lisa Mangalda, she's fabulous. Shout out. She's so good. Um, there's also Seema Anand, who does a fabulous job. Uh, when So, because I write about sex, obviously my mom is like a little iffy about it. Hmm. Uh, so, Seema Anand's videos were what I showed her because she doesn't just get into sex, she gets into the mythology of sex as well. So, for... Parents, it's interesting to see when they can like correlate that. Okay, fine. Like it stems mm. from our culture. It stems mm. from here. So we do have a lot of uh, content creators who do educate us about sex. But I do feel like we've got a long way to go. Still a long way to go. Yeah. Any men, you know? <laughs> no. Exactly. I think that's the problem. <laughs> Wait, no, I do know. Oh, I, I thought do he was bragging man. about it. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no, I do know one man. Uh, uh, he's Ashi. She's the co-founder of uh, the Sangya Project. They make fabulous sex toys. Um, so yeah, that's actually the only man I know that actively talks about sex and BDSM and just navigating things. Okay, yeah. next question. Yeah. So um, I think along the same vein of open communication, how do you navigate bad sex with someone new? Oh my God, that is so tricky. Mm. Like yeah. it's something that personally I've also struggled with because how do you tell someone they're not good at it without them taking it upon themselves and it could be a hit to their self-esteem, you know? Yeah. You don't know how everyone's going to react. Like tomorrow if somebody tells me, okay, I don't like what you're doing, could you do it? I'm not going to take it like in the wrong way but you never know mm. how someone is going to take it. But I still feel like there needs to be brutal honesty because... Um, just for the sake of the other person who's going to come after you. I mean, I don't want any other person. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> because you're like, yeah. I'm not staying in yeah. this. I'm not staying here. Also, especially if you like the person, and you want to continue having sex with them, you don't want it to be shit, right? Yeah. Exactly. I think the sandwich method. What's one good thing, uh, one... Oh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. That's so true. Uh, but also, you know how like kissing, uh, like it gets better. You know, it might not start out amazing, but then as you do it, even if you'd never mention it, it just gets better because you like find your groove. Hmm. So I feel like it's the same with sex also a bit. No? But how much time do you give exactly. it? Exactly. How, how much time do you, do you give, give it? it? How like, much time do you guys give it? Two dates? <laughs> Two days? Dates. Two okay. dates, Two maybe. Dates. That's harsh, huh? I mean, I I'm feel sorry, <laughs> listen, I've got a busy life. Yeah, I, can't, like, I can't keep waiting for you to get better at... Does it not depend on oh, how, how much, much you time you give it? Oh, okay. Um, how many not, tries do you yeah, give? Honestly, you I mean... It? As... Yeah, I don't know. As Does many it depends as you, on how much I, you like them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah that's yeah, it. It really depends, depends on how much you like it. It really it depends person, on interest, bro. dude. I feel like yeah, you're right. the other person you are. Yeah. If you're super into them and it's bad then you'll want to keep working at it and yeah. it will get better. And if you're not into them and it's bad, then just, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Two dates is fine. Yeah. 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 Well, two yeah, dates. I would agree. I would two agree. Two dates, 10 yeah. minutes, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think our next question that we asked them was the controversial opinion. But before we get into that, we haven't heard Sakshi's controversial opinion. Oh my God. Um, okay. One of the biggest controversial opinions I have is foreplay is better than sex. That's not controversial. No? Jay's life is ruined right now. <laughs> I don't think for women that's controversial. That's yeah, not all. controversial for women. Also, um, oh my god, I hate the words "daddy" and "mommy" being used in the bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> like I think it's it's weird. Don't it's so like. Weird. <laughs> well, to each their to each their own. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, you know. No, I can imagine being called "mommy." Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, dude. Oh for sh- I. <laughs> I, said, I could never like, I could what never. no <laughs> sorry baby I'll, just, <laughs> I'll make it up to you <laughs> oh wait what was the first one I forgot the so play is way better than sex but like she said it it's not a controversial one for women because I think we do enjoy for play and outer course way more than like just sex I kind of agree that it's more fun you know what I mean like it's more it's more intimate in some way yeah, yeah. here's my controversial opinion for play and aftercare are a part of sex. Oh. It's the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Thing, that yeah. it's not sex sure. is not just penetration. It's like the it's the process. It's the 
you know after care is what like throw a nap you know <laughs> After care oh, is man, my job. Hey man, after care is after you're done, you know, you spend some time together. Ah. Cuddle, you know, whatever, some back scratches, you know back what I'm saying? Back scratch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's life, man. It's part it's part of it. And then but, you throw the paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if I have somewhere to be, cut that first, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh so I mean, I don't think that's that controversial. Yeah, so oh, I would agree with you, Aman. Uh I have a, a controversial ish opinion. I okay. would love to hear your thoughts. Thoughts on talking the whole time during sex? Oh, what? Oh. Not the whole like time. A, like, like a conversation. Conversation. No jabbar jabbar. That's kind of yeah. weird, man. Like, I don't okay, know. Okay, dirty talk. Like Ariana what? does I, that a lot. I feel like yeah. Ariana knowing Ariana she's like Oh my god. Is, I'm a big talker. Isn't this just the best time ever? <laughs> Are we not having so much fun? Wait, Are you not having me. as much fun as I am? <laughs> This was just fab. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, as it starts in <laughs> as it's over out. <laughs> Has someone ever dropped that pants and been like I'm out for this? <laughs> Man, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, no, I not a conversation. Talk. I feel yeah. like I'm a big conversation okay, hacker. No, Dirty talk is amazing, but not like talking. No, just so like a regular <laughs> Ariana's talking about the stock market. <laughs> Google not looking t- t- good today, bro. It's in the red. Did you hear Taylor and Travis Kelsey? Oh my god, you know. Oh dude. No, that's annoying. You should stop that. Yeah. Mad annoying. I think it says a lot about my <laughs> success rate. <laughs> exactly. Okay. First controversial opinion. Prostitution should be legal. Hmm. Um, Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, it should. It should cuz yeah. it takes away a lot of the It takes sex away like once you decriminalize it, it does take away like you said a lot of the sex trafficking and also I mean, if you want to do it, if you want to earn money, if you want to have an only fans go do it like Yeah, I feel like yeah. Yeah, I'm it should that. be monitored. You can we can't yeah. just like legalize Tax everything. Tax them. <laughs> regulated. That's regulated. That's the word I was looking for. Sure. Yes, yes, sure. yes. But I think if it's legalized, there's more potential for it to be regulated. Yeah, yeah. Right now if it's illegal, you just no handle. But on. also that's very subjective depending on what country you come yeah. from. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And the stuff laws, is like you yeah. can't talk about it in this context cuz like in the Asian continent it's very different from what it is in the western world. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one, little controversial. It was spark in her eye. Attraction over personality, because if there's no attraction, you can't have sex. Mm. You can be attracted to their personality. But yeah. like, you see someone from across the room, and this is such yeah, a sure. legit question. Yeah, yeah, but if you see someone from across the room, if you're not interested in them, you're not really going to reach out to them and talk to them. Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah. You, yeah. you yeah. wouldn't someone, engage yeah. in the first place. Yeah. Personality yeah. is yeah. like when you like look at them. Like I'm going to see whether you're hot or no. I'm sorry. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's from across the room, right? Like if your mutual friend introduces you guys and you just start talking, and then you're like, "Oh, this person is really cool. I like that personality." then you're automatically attracted to them yeah people become sure. more attractive due to their personality yeah for sure i think that's the thing I mean? for sure as well yeah. yeah but does there have to be i get what you're trying to say does there have to be a baseline of course attractiveness yeah, yeah. so that's yeah. that's i think no but you don't yeah, have yeah. to like you can look at someone and not be like oh my god i i want to be with them and then talk to them and then later on be like oh my god yeah, i think i want to be with like, them love at first sight is not a thing like cuz it mm, builds up over that's time you think so do you think that that's not a thing i think it's a thing i don't know i mean I don't know. I'm not a believer <laughs> in love at first sight. Has it never happened? Has the like music never played and the rest of the played, world yeah. stopped? Never played. I think yeah. maybe that's why I'm not a believer. Has it happened <laughs> for the three of you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's happened. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think, think so. Yeah. I, I, it, it's just one of those things. Yeah. You know? And we've been best friends ever since. <laughs> <laughs> and lovers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that I fall in love every five seconds. So for me, it's there for sure. <laughs> so do she? swing always though. <laughs> That's amazing news. <laughs> uh sex in a public place is the most fun. It is. Really? It is. What's the what's that. the craziest public place you've had sex at? Um craziest? I don't know if it can be crazy, but like on the stairs of a building? 
Ooh, that's not that crazy. Yeah, it's not that crazy. That's, that's a little dangerous, crazy, bro. bro. Who's bi- was At it? At like 10 p.m. That's cr- that's that's, that's early. pretty public, bro. You we get people walking up and down like swiggy hill guys oh. coming up and down. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze by here, you guys. <laughs> Someone's TRC is going up. <laughs> Swiggy guy says this time I'll rate it five star. <laughs> no, but there's a different thrill, you know, like sure. talking in public. Like it's so exciting because like you've got the you're a little scared, obviously. Like it's a little nerve wracking, but it's also very exciting. Hmm. Is that why women love horror movies so much? Yes, I love is horror that, movies. Yeah, I I don't. What I is don't that? Get it. What's the connection? No, no, the, like the 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 scariness and excitement and building up and stuff. I'm like a lot of up. no 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 really like a lot of women love horror movies. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Actually, the next time Jay's with a girl, he's gonna wear like a scream mask, <laughs> jump scare, boo. <laughs> You're like this next time. <laughs> No, but it, that it, it it is a thing, right? Like more women, I would say, prefer horror movies and serial killer documentaries. We've been through it's this on the Tinder, pod as well. In my Tinder, Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge bio. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. it's crazy, bro. It's crazy out there. <laughs> Jay's just forgotten. This is a sex episode. <laughs> what do women like? <laughs> <laughs> Once I said, let me get my phone. <laughs> Open my notes app. <laughs> so, Sakshi, what's your thoughts on beer? <laughs> okay, what's next, Ariana? Guild hookup is the best hookup. Oh. Guild hookup? Yeah, guild you, hookup. Like if you hook up with your best friend's girlfriend. Oh, no, no. I don't think it's like that. No. I think it's like... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's, isn't that what it's that just, means? It's hooking up with someone you should not be hooking yeah. up with. Yeah, that's what that yeah. means yeah, though. I'm giving exactly. you an example. You have to be so extreme. <laughs> <laughs> I thought... Straight up man goes to like your best friend's girlfriend. <laughs> okay, yeah. That makes sense actually. That's that's a guilt. That's what it means. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Sure. So but that's the best. You could have used a better example. Yeah. <laughs> what, like what is a better? No, no. I'm like. Oh, just like looking at you. Huh? I'm, saying, I'm saying it would not. Like it would not be possible. It is not the best. Like fuck no, dude. No, but like maybe your f- your friend's sister or some like something like that. That's yeah. pretty guilty. Yeah. Or like someone your friend used to find attractive. You know. Yeah. That's also like. Yeah, what he said, bro, like a friend's ex like, or like... Yeah, dude, like that's the thing, man. Like it's, I mean, I don't know, dude. Some people enjoy it, I guess. So what's your thoughts? Do you think it's the best hookup? I don't think it's the best hookup. I think people think it's the best because like there's there's the chase involved, right? You're doing something wrong. Mm. So that can also be like... Have you done turning it? On. No. So then how but would you know I if it's the best? I have done something. I have this thing where... I have a thing for best friends, okay? Like if I find one guy attractive, I might find his best friend attractive <laughs> too. <laughs> So <laughs> look at them look at them high fiving bro so I think that can be like a guilt hook up because like if I've hooked up with him then maybe like in a couple of months if he slides into my DMs I'll be like okay fine like yeah. you know okay something fun choking is gives a big high yeah choking in out in in very in consensually in yeah consensually yeah well I don't think <laughs> that didn't have to <laughs> no, be said bro <laughs> Only if she wants. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> and thoughts on casual sex? Casual thoughts? Talks, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's not much to think about it. Someone said, I didn't understand it, but they said casual sex before the age of twenty twenty one is brilliant, but post that I feel somebody will catch feelings. But I feel like it's the opposite. Um, I think when you're older than 21, maybe there's more of an expectation to get into a long-term relationship. Is that what they mean? Not even 21, but yeah, I feel like as you age, there's more respect that you would yeah. give. Oh, so so th- I think yeah. that's the question. Yeah. Is casual sex possible for like, an, is it possible to be friends with benefits only? No. No. Really? Yeah, I no. Mean, I don't think you can be friends with benefits for like a prolonged period of time because you're yeah. One or the other person is going to catch feelings because you're always hanging out. You're always having sex with each other. You know what you guys like. Yeah. So I feel like feelings are going to find their way. Yeah, that's what the, I think this, that's what yeah, he that's was what indicating. He meant. Yeah. But yeah, so friends with benefits, a myth. No, I feel uh, like not a, not a it myth. depends on how you view sex. Like if it's just yeah. a physical thing for you, Dude, then literally maybe you can do it. Long-term friends with benefits is a relationship. That, yeah. that's, what, <laughs> yeah. that's what it is. Like, you know, either get into a relationship or don't at all. Great advice in general. Opinion? No. No. Yeah. Because yeah. I think at some point, 
you know, someone's going to catch feelings. Yeah. Someone or the other is going to catch feelings. It's it's uh, inevitable. That's so interesting. You don't agree? You're not convinced? I don't know. Because re- I don't know, recently, I feel like sometimes you just want to have sex and then you're just like, oh, this person's so nice and you know them. You're just like, yeah, let's just have sex. Well, but for how long does that like, feeling yeah, of exactly. no uh, responsibility on their part come in? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if they go hook up with someone else and you might oh, feel you a certain way? Okay. No, it, it, sure, it, there's a lot sure. of emotions involved. Like Aman said, it's not just the physical act, you know? Uh, is sex <laughs> emotional for guys? Of course. It depends. It depends. You know what I think it is? I think there's a lot that come. Yeah, there, it is, dude. There's like a mental aspect of it. There's like a performance anxiety thing. There's like a body image thing. Like, um, you know, it's like, oh, will this person, once they see all of me, because you're your most vulnerable, bro. Like, you're like exactly. wearing nothing. It's like, will they still feel the same way? There is that thing, bro. That's why I think communication is so important. That's why I think, like, you know, again, it's a personal thing. I know people can do it, but it's like, oh, you want to be able to, like, be vulnerable with that person in another way so that you can give yourself to them completely in this way sure yes. yeah facts. someone's playing Yo, he is man he's he really is. coming for my job <laughs> <man. Yeah. laughs> he's already stated in yeah, the last episode if you pay him enough it. he'll jump ship <laughs> <laughs> I have another question hmm. uh, just along the same thing don't you feel like sometimes you can have sex with someone and that's like the closest technically you are with someone but like, well, if you, you don't care about the person, hmm. you're just like, yeah, this is just sex and this is just whatever. But like sometimes with like the right person, like even holding hands is like, oh my yeah. God. I was going to say, I think holding yeah. hands like, in, it's those in public is more intimate than sex, sex in yes. 2023. Like, like your yeah. fingers just go like there. this and then you're yeah, like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Uh. It's, I think it's more <laughs> intimate than, than sex. At this point, bro, in well, 2023, in, yes. holding hands is like, get married already yeah, bro. Yeah. come yeah. on man how, how soon is too don't soon don't hold my hand how soon is too soon to hold hands oh. it's gotta be like six Ariana's plus months Ariana's gonna be like yeah. now no. Like, no. <laughs> she's like now no, no holding hands it's is, too, is yeah. it's too intimate it takes too intimate, a lot of time man. oh dude I'm, you yeah, actually have be, to marry yo, the person I don't, I don't think holding hands is more intimate than having sex also I'll tell you what's even more intimate than holding hands sitting on the same side of the restaurant when you go out to eat right. no that's that. I mean dude look it's weird I will give you that but that's that's the uh, love language you know yeah. some not people weird, like being that's so like fun some person. people like being some people I like, like being close it's, it's fun, fun. It's a fun. I think it's weird it's but I can vibes. see the, the merit of that holding hands though no yeah don't no yeah. I would rather hold hands than sit on the same side. Really? Yeah. No, I love hey. sitting on the same side, but that's not more intimate. Are you than sitting on the same hands. side and holding hands? Oh, that's oh, that's kind of crazy, that's bro. That's my dream. That's <laughs> 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 bro, I feel like I got to represent the holding hand gang, bro. <laughs> hand holding is just a fun, cute activity. You know, you go out. It's, it's a, not it's a fun, cute activity. It's a, good, it's, a very it's a good day. I'm not gonna a, go and hold your hand to Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very well, intense. I'm not not just with your buddies, bro. You know, I'm not trying to holding take... hands with any random girl on the street, right? Yeah, my girlfriend. It's good if you're like walking or at a concert or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. But being on a table and just holding the hand is weird. Yeah, it's weird. It is weird. Aman, weird. please. I agree. I agree. It's yeah. weird. I was talking about like, you know, it's a sunny day. You're walking through the park or whatever. You Your hold long hands. Your long-term girlfriend. Yeah, not a girl you just met two weeks ago, bro. She'll be oh. like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> even with, even <laughs> with your long-term girlfriend, you're not holding hands at, at dinner. Like, unless it's like, Bro, not when we're just chatting, bro. Yeah, exactly. No, I meant so like that's the thing. Right? I meant like when we're like you're all walking in a yeah, park yeah, or something, you like hold your hand or sure, like. Sure, but that's there's a, that's exactly why I said that it's more intimate because your long term girlfriend, you're walking in a park with her. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> no, I'm just he's he brought up the park. I mean, I was, I was talking about the Boston Commons or whatever. Sure, or, wherever, you know. wherever, wherever you want to, like wherever you're going you shopping go, or whatever. Yeah, 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 you know, you're going shopping. It's a good vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, right, yeah. little yeah. handhold here and there. Definitely, no, I'm not anyone. That. I'm for that. Okay, how about we move to the final question? Uh, love is different. This is the last one. Okay, love is different from lust, and lust is different from companionship, and companionship is different from love. Mm. Do you want me to repeat it? <laughs> yeah, please do. <laughs> okay, let's discuss part by part. Love is different from lust. Of course. Yeah, sure. Everyone is. Is. Sure. And sure. lust is different from companionship. Yes. Yeah, sure. very different. And companionship is different from love. That's uh, where that's, I think there's a huge yeah. Venn diagram. I think, I think there is a, like, Lonely of the line. two, of all of these, these are the two most It's like a uh, Venn diagram, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it has the most intersections. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 
I agree. I had, a f- I had a friend who used to say that love is familiarity over time. Mm. Do you think it's a pretty cynical way of looking at it? Oh, no, not at all, it's man. Cynical. Yeah, not at all. It is familiarity over time. No, but is it just that? No. No, it's not only familiarity. But it plays a big part, though. Like, if you're with that person you're day familiar. in and day out, you know, I yeah, why not? Mm. Yeah. I think love is truly just being, like, so comfortable with someone and just being so understood by someone. Hmm. And even if you're not the same, you're just, like, understood. And you know that this person's always going to be there for you. Hmm. That's love. And if you spend so much time with them, you're familiar with them, they understand. Yeah, 100%. It's never really going to happen. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Sure. You know? I mean, yeah. you make friends that way as well. But like I also spend enough I time I with someone. I don't think it's, like, um, it's... It's not like you have to spend a lot of time with someone to love them. No. Mm, but then what if you're not spending too much time with someone then what what do you love about them that much? It's like the time you do meet there's just it's it's amazing. It's always a good time. But is it love though? You're like yeah, yeah. it's cool, it's fine. It's No man, like I don't think that you can only have friends that you love that you've had meet for like 10 the, yeah. years. You can meet exactly. someone last year and I can love them now. Just oh, because yeah, I haven't sure. spent That's, time with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know? I'm not yeah. talking about time in total, maybe frequency. You know what I mean? Like, like maybe not over time. Long distance relationships still do work. You know, like well, lo- meeting like once a year, maybe twice a year. But, yeah. but, but long distance relationships are on the weaker side of relationships. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. it's like the long distance relationships have to be really special, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> for you guys to really get along like a lot of long distance relationships don't work out and a big factor of that is not being physically together. You don't together. have that foundation. Yeah, she but really no one's to say you it. Do you just let her say it. Okay. <laughs> I would actually argue that when you're in a long distance relationship you're talking to them all the time. Like you talk to them every day you know like okay, 6 to 7 today I have to talk to this person. That seems like a work it, meeting yeah. more than like a no, but it's As just someone that- who's done it, that's not how you want to think of it. But like, I'm just saying that you'd rather be excited to talk to them for 10 mi- I would much rather talk to them for 10 minutes and have like a engaging exciting conversation than be like okay I have to talk to you from 6 to 7 yep. no matter what we have it to say It should be like a okay yeah chore for you you know Yeah, yeah it's like a I, scheduled meeting then What I will yeah. say though is it allows you guys a lot of space to like grow yeah. on your own and then you bring that together whenever you guys do meet And I think But, that's what I meant to say that you know that you're talking to them you know that and when you talk to them it's like i feel like also when you're in a physical like in a relationship in close proximity with someone maybe you meet you talk for a bit you like do a fun hook up and then you leave okay. you know what i'm saying yeah. but when you're like doing long distance you're it's so emotional and you know the only reason you're with like you're with this person because you actually like care about them so deeply that you're okay with like not having the physical aspect of the relationship for so long sure but i think long distance relationships need a definitive end to the long distance uh aspect right like there if it's an und- yeah if it's an undefined uh period of time then it's like how what like what are you how hoping long for long yeah. term you know what i'm saying so if it's like maybe 2 years and then you know you you're either coming back or the person's coming back you're like yeah 2 years i love them fuck what is 2 years to a lifetime you know what i mean but i, I would agree know. with that long, yeah, yeah definitely i mean long distance relationships have merit long distance sucks I think we can say that it sucks. I've done it twice. One of them sucks. failed. One of them didn't fail. It yeah. fucking is the worst. Yeah, sucks. Okay. But I, I agree with Ariana in the sense that it's not like oh, put it in the calendar. We're talking from six to seven, unless that's what floats your boat. It's more like you find a different way to spend quality time. Sure. My girlfriend and I would watch only murders in the building every Monday when it came out, and that became a ritual. And even now, even though we're living in the same city now. I've never seen an episode of that show without her. Aww. And I think that's like part of that, you know, it's it's your way of spending quality time. We also like it's pretty cute, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. We <laughs> We did a lot of <laughs> feels do. Yeah. And isn't isn't that isn't that what it's all about? Picking a TV show, <laughs> watching it together. You know what I'm saying? No, but I mean like it's it's one of those things where there are also tools uh, we did like this thing called Davy date, so it was like a virtual date and you do like a little like um you go across like a space station and you answer questions about each other oh and man, like, i'm going to stop you right there what you are cute as hell bro that i don't think long distance i don't think normal long distance relationships function like this i'm yeah. ju- i i'm just saying this yeah. sounds i've i've never done this, this. sounds yeah. great you know what i mean like I you know, but I, but maybe put me on to something yeah bro you got to do that or like we used to do this thing where we like would order food for each other but as like a surprise so i didn't she didn't know what she was getting i didn't know what i was getting and then like 
you talk about it oh, you video call you know that yeah. no, if you guys are in long distance relationships start rewinding and taking notes like right yeah. now man, if you want to keep the person you know and still i'm saying long distance sucks because like the thing that really really sucks about long distance um <laughs> You said tell it, bro. Us, tell I us what really, really I sucks I about I long distance. Anytime Your Aman says really, really, just <laughs> really, take a shot. really. <laughs> bro, I've been, they've been, people have been making fun of me for this since I was like ten years old. You know the problem is I started saying yeah. that now, man. <laughs> the thing that crazy. sucks about long distance is not the fact that oh you don't get them to be with them during the good times. Mm. It's that like even when you are with them, it's always borrowed time. Yeah. So every moment you're spending with them. It's like I have to make it worth it sure, sure. because sh- he or she or they are gonna leave, yeah. and then then what, right? So yeah. you got to a lot of pressure to have a good time, yeah. yeah. And it's a lot of anxiety packed into a really short window, and then you end up not actually enjoying and being exactly. present in that moment. Yeah. yeah, and then it's always about when's the next time, when's the next time, when's the next time, when's the next time. You know, it just becomes then your relationship just becomes the highs and the lows, mm-hmm. because like oh the high of we're together, we're doing this, it's amazing, and the low of like fuck yeah. you're leaving, yeah. right? But when you're in the same city as someone and you get to live around them or whatever, you get everything. You get to sure. like sometimes just sit there and like do the crossword while they're doing something else, and then that's that's love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ariana's gonna cry. I can see it. <laughs> just look at her. Okay, let's move on. Let's move cry. on. <laughs> okay, so that's done with the controversial opinions. What was the last question we asked? The last love, question lust, we asked, companionship. Yeah, love, lust, companionship. No, no, no. I mean, what was the last question we asked? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the last question we asked: What's your most embarrassing hookup story or dating story? Okay, who wants to go first? Oh, from us. Okay, exciting. Thank you. I'll go, I'll go first only because um, it's not that embarrassing. <laughs> But I was much younger, and I was caught making out with a girl in a cab, Oof. and. The policeman kind of stopped, like knocked on the on the door, and was like, "Yo, get out!" And I was like, "Oh shit!" I was acting super cool, obviously, because I didn't want to, like, you know, scare her. But I was shitting my pants at this moment. Okay, <laughs> luckily we were near this girl's house, so I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get you the money." And I went into her house, and I kept looking through the peephole, and he was kind of in the corridor walking around. So I hopped her back fence and just started <laughs> running <laughs> down the road. <laughs> I've never looked back. Like I was just running in the dark, and then these dogs, and I was super confused at the time. There was a lot of emotions going through my mind, and these dogs thought I was playing. Like you know, like street dogs at night. They thought I was playing, so they started barking after me and running. I'm like, dude, get attention of like the cops in the local area, because I thought that this one cop had called the others and put on an alert for me or whatever. I was super young, but anyway, I just kept running. Good story. Good story. Yeah, I don't know why they catch people here, bro. It's so weird. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like, crazy. Like, oh, I caught you I making out. I have also been caught someone. kissing someone in a car. Caught. I was gonna say, hasn't everyone had yeah, a kissing in a car? Hanging gardens and that thing. <gasps> that's oh. you know what? That's that's a hotbed for police patrolling. Yeah. All yeah. the time. Yeah. Hope, hope it's called. But that's a bad place to make out. No, it's a, it's yeah. Yeah, rookie yeah. mistake. Rookie mistake. mistake. I've made a lot of rookie mistakes in You've my life. You've never been caught. I've never been caught. Have Go you ahead. all done it? Yeah, Kissed of course. Cars? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, cute. Okay. Well, <laughs> anyone else wants to share that? I think you have something to say, Rada. We'll get this actually mm-hmm. after. My embarrassing yeah, hookup story ahead. is also that once I was kissing a boy in a car, and we also got caught by the cops, and then we had to pay a very very high fee. And How much? Disgusting, be bad. Say it. How much? We 8, can bleep it out if you don't want to bleep it we in. We had to pay a <laughs> number, and then I had to, and then I felt so bad because he like literally, it was so bad. I was so young. I'm really sorry that this Why happened. Are you sorry? Okay, wait, 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 wait. The Lord. <laughs> let's get let's get into Ariana's life a little bit. Are so, you? how old were you? I was like twenty one. Twenty one, and how high was the fee? High. Higher than my age. Higher than your age in thousands of rupees. What else, bro? <laughs> in hundreds, but <laughs> okay. Damn. I'm oh, gonna man. cry. And then I had to. I felt so bad because this guy just. So firstly, okay. Do we? <laughs> in my defense. In my defense, I'll tell you what happened. We got caught. He got out of the car. Then he knew Marathi. So I was like, we are sorted, yeah. right? But we were not sorted, <laughs> and he didn't know what to do. And I. 
I regret this day so much because I was like, I should have just cried. And I should have just made a scene. So this cop would have left us alone. And now I know that if there's no female cop, they can't really talk to you and, you know, mm-hmm. like engage with you. But he was this, the, this cop was so bad. Like, I actually want to cry. He was so horrible. He asked me to open my bag to see like if I had any money on me. Isn't yeah. that wild? Ouch. Yeah, that's, okay. yeah. that's wild. So, so we had happened? to pay this. So we had to pay like 25k to this guy. And this this guy I was with, he paid it. And then I paid him back in like EMI installed. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we go out, like I pay. Oh, because you continue dating him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It was oh it was really nice. You Lovely actually should dump him after that, dude. Oh, there's no way. It was a night message. Yeah, my wow. Bro, when you said embarrassing, I thought it was gonna be like he paid the cops and then he looked at me and I was like, not worth it or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was just some light ribbing, guys. That was just a joke. Okay, so actually, you have a story for us? I do. I don't know if it's embarrassing, but it's fucking hilarious. Um, I had gone over to this uh, guy's house and things were getting like hot and heavy. And he's got a dog and a cat, okay? And I'm cool with animals, like it's fine. It's just, they shouldn't be in the room they when should not be in the room. are happening. Yeah. So we go from the hall to his bedroom and this stupid motherfucker doesn't lock the door. So his dog and his cat came into the room and both of us were a little tipsy, so we didn't realize and the lights were off. So while this guy was having sex with me, the dog was humping my leg. <laughs> and you was thought that it was the just third spots? person? You thought it was, was just that the third <laughs> person you invited? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy, man. But that happened and I didn't realize for a while because I thought, okay, maybe he's just doing something. And then I was like, wait, no, it's soft. It's fur. Like, what the fuck is that? And I was like, bro, your dog is here. Get him the fuck out. <laughs> And I actually had a bruise on my leg because that dog humped me really. Oh. <laughs> That's wild, dude. That's crazy. For all the dogs, Drake out. I'm out now. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy style. <laughs> nice one, Ariana. Nice no one laughed, so I was like, okay. No, anyway. It was an obvious joke, you know. Uh, <laughs> so okay. I wouldn't make it. <laughs> well, speaking of cats and dogs in the bedroom, what? someone said, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Where is this going, fuck, bro? Dude. Someone said that they got poured by the girl's cat on his bum. Oh, and he liked it? While like, you know, while doing it. Oh, well. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that exciting? Well, I mean, I, yeah, sure. That's pretty Pussy that's is pretty power, good. bro. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, bro. Got two kinds of pussy that night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next time he came over, he said, where's the cat? You know what I'm saying? Bro said, scratch me oh, and meow. Did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have a bunch of these. Guys. I'm here all night. <laughs> okay. Like we can put him outside. Like, no, no, let him stay. It's fine. <laughs> uh, then someone said that they got caught hooking up near a McDonald's ladies' restroom. Eeks. Near a McDonald's ladies' restroom or inside a McDonald's ladies' restroom? Sorry. Inside? Inside. Probably. Inside a McDonald's. Okay. They said, yeah. Damn. She's probably okay. loving it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My partner farted during foreplay. Eeks. Oh. Out. Yeah. Have y'all ever been scared about farting during like... Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like you also know that like queefing happens like all the time. Like it can be a little embarrassing. Yeah, sure. In the beginning. That's not a... Forget foreplay. I'm saying like when you get into a new relationship, who farts first? (laughs) Yeah. It's a big... It's a big... big, uh, It's a big move. It's a big one. I'll be honest, guys. I got gas issues. (laughs) Hey man, it got way more serious earlier than expected, but... What's worse though, like the first fart or the first time you have to take a shit at their house? First time you have to take a shit, shit. at their house. Dude, shit. shit. No. 100 no. billion percent. Yeah, shit. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. It has to be yep, the shit. Yep, yep. No, I'll tell you why. If, if you're a good cover-upper of the shit, then it's easier. Yeah. But if you're not, I mean, if it's some bad shit... See, dude, I've, I, yeah. Those are those are asterisks. I'm just saying, you gotta take a shit. You go, hey man, just gonna use the restroom. I have a crazy story. I have a crazy story. Okay, okay. Sorry, so sorry, sorry, Yaman. Are you authorizing? Are you authorizing? No, no, this is not Aryan. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all I'm saying is, the shit you control the variables. You know, you can just say, hey, I'm using the loo. You come out, quick, done. No one needs to know the fart. that there. You acknowledge it. What you said. You laughed. You chuckled. You go, oh my god. You go, that's disgusting. You know what I'm saying? No, that's true, man. I'm sorry I had to go through that, bro. <laughs> okay, let me let me tell this story. It's going to take like a couple minutes, okay? So, this friend of 
mine. She was studying in Spain and she had a roommate who was going on like a bunch of dates and everything. She went on, she started talking to this guy and they were talking for like, you know, a few weeks. And the guy was like, hey, why don't you come over? I'll cook you dinner and stuff and we can just like hang out. I can make you dinner. We'll eat, have a good time. She, she was first like a little apprehensive. She's like, should I go to his house for a date or whatever? But eventually she went. Uh, he made her like this nice dinner and everything. They ate and then suddenly like she really felt like shitting. Okay. She was like, <laughs> and she was very happy. And so she was like texting this friend of mine being like, yo, should I do it here? Like, what should I do? Should I just leave right now? She's like, no, no, just go use the bathroom. So oh, no. she tells the guy like, Hey, I want to use your bathroom. Is that okay? And it's a small studio apartment. So you know, everything that's happening. <laughs> oh my God. The story gets way worse guys. Just bear with me. So he's like, yeah, yeah, sure. Let me just go into my bathroom. Make sure everything's like, you know, clean and nice for you. He goes in. He comes out like maybe seven, eight minutes later and this girl has shat herself. (laughs) She has shat herself and there's like shit leaking out of her dress and everything. Okay, wait. So he's, he's obviously in shock. So he's just like, okay, you know what? She's crying. She's sobbing. Obviously he's like, you know what? Don't worry. Just go into my bathroom. Like I'll clean all of this up. Don't worry. Whatever. She goes in, she takes a shower and everything. She comes out. This dude has wiped the shit all over himself and he's like yo like let's do it no 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 way bro okay at that point she's at that point no at that point she doesn't know what to do she's texting this friend of mine and her friend's just like yo like leave don't stay there anymore just leave so she leaves she's like yeah okay whatever three months later someone she posted this on reddit okay three months later Someone re- replied on that Reddit saying, I went on a date with this same guy and the same thing happened to me. He's been putting laxatives in the food. He's putting... Oh, oh my fuck. God. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Wild, right? Wild. She was right. She was like, she was like no, yeah, that, that happens. Yeah. That happens. It's, a kink, it's a real kink. Like the pee and poop kink is... Real. Yes, but that's should actually... Probably make yeah, it... Yeah. A, yeah. yeah. Like so non-consensual, crazy. not okay. Oh my not god! Not even non-consensual. You're putting laxatives in this person's yeah. food. No, that's crazy, He's bro. It's a threat to society, man. Yeah. Fuck. That's a nightmare. Yeah. Have you heard of that story about um? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, th- there's there's this girl, and she's at a party. She's gonna leave with some guy, and she's making out with them. Whatever. They leave, but one of her friends is super drunk, so she calls him. Like she calls her over, and she's like, "Oh fuck, you ruined my hookup. Whatever, whatever." Next morning, she gets a rash, like, all over her mm. face, okay? All over. She's like, fuck, it's come some kind of STD or whatever. He go, She goes to the doctor. She's like, yo, what is this? He's like, have you had any sexual activity? He's like, no, just making out with someone, blah, blah, blah. He tested it. It was a test of, like, this disease that you get if you bang dead people. I and also have a wild story. Have you been with, uh, yeah, dead, with dead with bodies? Flesh. Yeah. So this girl, they call the cops on this dude and they found out that he's been murdering women and just sleeping with them at his house. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Shout out to her drunk friend, I guess. I thought Sid told us a story where they found human flesh in the fridge and stuff like that. Different story. Oh, okay. A lot of weirdos out there. A lot of weirdos out there. I know downer, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. You have have an uplifting story to end? No, it's not an uplifting story. It's just as morbid as this one though, but it's wild. Oh, go for it, man. I heard this from a friend of mine who was living in Bangalore and her friend got this weird um, rash down there and she goes to her gynec and they tell her that, okay, fine, it's not going to go away. You might need to get a few more tests done. And uh, turns out she she had this really weird bacteria situation going down there. And then a couple of days later, she found out that it only happens when you've been sleeping with someone who's fucking dead bodies. Yeah. yeah. And um, she was only sleeping with one guy that she was seeing at the, at the time. Shit. And this guy was working in the government hospital's morgue. So he was oh. fucking the dead bodies there and then having sex with her. I don't know if he ever went to jail, but like... Ugh. Yuck! That is crazy, dude. Okay, I feel like uh, uplifting story, please. <laughs> no, no, oh uplifting. Uplifting. I think what will be uplifting is oh if you God, give us, if you give us the empty shelf item that you've gotten us. Oh my God! Pretty cool yeah. one. Okay. Give me back. Pretty obvious what my favorite color is, guys. 
Ah, uh, orange. <laughs> <laughs> I made the same joke when we were walking in as well. <laughs> we all said it. We all said it. We all thought it. We all said it. Guys, this is my first vibrator. <gasps> Give me an oh. orgasm. Oh wow! Like from years ago, it doesn't work anymore. Like the batteries are gone. Like it's all. And it's sanitized. Then. Yes, uh, okay. it's completely <laughs> sanitized and washed. But yes. That's cool, okay, man. Sick. That's thank cool. You, thank you, thank you. This is up there with some of the coolest shelf <laughs> items, man. It's, it's probably going to be one that's hidden for our sponsors. <laughs> but, <laughs> but thank you nonetheless. Oh. We'll let you place it wherever you want. Yes. Right next to John Cena, if you want, right up there. He's behind you. You can't see him. You can't see him. But can't put see it in him. our pod show. Guys. No, he's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Greatest pod show. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank Me? you so much for being here. Of course, guys, Sark, everything of Sakshi's will be in the description. Uh, she writes some amazing uh, stuff about sex and educates you on it. So go check out, show us some love. And thank you for being here. We'll see you next week on the Having Said That Show. Peace. She put by the dozen, hate them or you love them. If you make me feel a way, then I might switch up for your cousin. Keep on in the dark and I'll keep them more in the oven. If you wanna stop, we can try, it's cheaper by the...